Hey, it's Erin. Sometimes we'll hit a plateau in training, and this is perfectly normal. This can come from overreaching, overtraining, too much stress, not eating enough, or maybe the program just lacks in progressive overload, meaning we're just not pushing the muscles hard enough or giving them enough volume to make changes. Now, let's assume that you've taken care of all of these variables and you're still not seeing progress. Now, if this is the case, this video is for you. We're gonna delve into the lateral raise, and this actually applies to pretty much any other exercise. We're gonna tweak the technique, and I want you to think about the cues that you use while you're performing an exercise. And if you like this video, please let me know because we can do a deep dive on any other exercise. Now, if you're not using proper cues and not really paying attention to the nuances, not activating the muscles as well as you potentially could be, you're leaving reps on the table. So this equates to just junk volume. And while you may be performing the exercise and you may know the fundamentals of the exercise, we can tweak that technique to make it just a little bit better. And so each rep you're performing, you're able to stimulate that muscle and it's going to lead to major gains over time. So back to the lateral raise. Let's talk about some common things that people do or some common cues that people use and ways that we can just tweak it a little bit and hopefully help you see major results. So the first cue that I'm going to look at or the first tweak is going to be the, the cue of pulling rather than pushing. Now it's a raise, so it is really normal to think of this exercise as, okay, I'm gonna pull the dumbbells up. Now you'll notice when you have the cue of pulling, the first thing that engages really is going to be the traps. So if you're performing the lateral raise and you feel it a lot in your traps, Think about pushing the dumbbell away, almost like you're opening a cape or you're pushing something away or you're opening a door. You're going to use that push rather than the pull. And you may find that you start engaging those delts first and you may be sore in the delts and not in the traps. So the next thing I want you to think about, not straightening your arms completely. So there are a variety of different ways you can perform this lateral raise. And a lot of times people will lock out their elbows. Now what this does is it's going to put a lot of strain on the elbows and it can shift emphasis to other parts of the arm. And really what we're trying to do is really just trying to hit those delts. So get a soft bend in the elbow and keep it the same way throughout. So you don't wanna start with um, a little bit of a bend or you don't want to start with a, a massive bend and then extend your arms on the way out You're gonna feel a little bit more in your triceps once you do it Just lock it out almost like you're hugging a barrel So you think about keeping that nice soft bend throughout the exercise Now the last cue or technique I want you to think about is keeping constant tension on the muscle a lot of times when we're performing lateral raises, we allow the weight to just sit at the bottom. Now, as soon as your arm reaches perpendicular to the floor, you're losing all tension on the muscle, meaning you're not stimulating the muscle at all. So when we're using free weights, we want to think about gravity and the goal is to keep that tension on the muscle. So you're going to shorten that range of motion just a little bit and you're going to stop just before your arm hits perpendicular to the floor and then you're going to go right back into the rep. Now try these three ways to tweak your technique. Let me know what you think and again if there's another exercise you would like to see or if you want to see more of these videos please let me know. I really love doing a deep dive into specific exercises and I think this is great for the advanced lifter because, you know, a lot of times we, we get to a point where we think we have complete mastery of an exercise and often we do. It's just we can take it a little bit further. And, you know, of course, when you're a beginner, these cues are going to be super helpful because they're going to set you up for a lifetime of lifting success. But when you reach that advanced or intermediate even, when you reach that state, gains become harder and harder to come by. So if we can tweak things just a little bit, get you just a little bit more gains, you're gonna see really, really great results over time. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of the Fit Fam. That's it for this time. Until next time, 
train smart and tweak your technique, y'all.